Now is the time to end the death penalty in Nevada. The, de the death penalty is broken. Over the past 20 years, efforts to address troubling problems like racial bias, arbitrary and overbroad, overbroad use, and wrongful convictions of innocent persons have all failed to fix the death penalty. Since the death penalty was reinstated in Nevada in 1976, 189 death sentences have been imposed. More than half of those have been reversed by either state or federal court. Reversals in these complex cases are not only costly and inevitable, they cause victims' family members to relive trauma. Death penalty cases almost always involve decades of litigation, with no guarantee this sentence will ever be carried out. In fact, only one of the 12 executions in the state's history was carried out against the condemned person's will. The other 11, the other 11 voluntarily gave up their appeals. The death penalty epitomizes concerns about racial injustice in our criminal justice system. Approximately 35% of the people on Nevada's death row are African American, despite accounting for only 8.6% of Nevada's population. More than half of the people on death row are people of color. The death penalty is enormously costly while delivering no result, no greater public safety, no deterrent value, no real closure for victims' family members. The legislative auditor found that each case, each death penalty case, costs more than half a million dollars more than a case where the death penalty is not sought. That money could surely be spent better elsewhere, such as education, improved mental health services for Nevadans, or on proactive efforts to prevent crime. The last execution in the state happened 15 years ago. Nevada was unable to carry out an execution just two years ago due to the drug companies prohibiting the use of their medications for lethal injection, a right that our courts recognize as valid and legally enforceable. Nothing has changed since then other than the current stock of drugs inching ever closer to their expiration date. Meanwhile, victims' family members are deprived of the legal finality they are promised and they expect. A death sentence in Nevada means life in prison without the possibility of parole, whatever else we may choose to call it. The death penalty is the epitome of an expensive government program that overpromises and underdelivers. Now is the right time to end our costly, ineffective, and inhumane death penalty. Nevada should join two thirds of the world's countries who have already banned the death penalty, many of whom have determined that it violates fundamental human rights. Some have concluded that the mere seeking of the death penalty is coercive enough to amount to a form of torture. The government simply should not be in the business of killing. 